Hello, it is me, Pat the Sound Guy. I'm back again. Quick video. I'm gifting a friend a, a lawnmower that he needs, and I want to sharpen the blade. I thought you'd bring you along and show you how I sharpen lawnmower blades. Here is the lovely machine in question. Not a bad little rig. Just something we don't need here. And I have lots of lawnmowers already, so a friend of mine, he needs a lawnmower, a new one for his wife because hers is dead and she needs a light little mower to push around that she likes and this is the guy so I'll pull this blade off let's have a look at the condition of it so I may look a little funny with all my gear on I got ear protectors eye protection and a respirator and it may sound silly just to sharpen a simple lawnmower blade that you need all this gear but if you're gonna do it right you're making a lot of dust from the grinding disc itself and you really should wire brush these to make them good and clean because that helps you uh, really see what's going on and it helps to balance it in the end because sometimes all this stuff adds to the extra weight of the blade and when some of it flips off when you first start in your mower if you have all nice balanced blades it's not balanced anymore so I really like to clean them up real quick with the wire brush on the angle grinder and that makes a lot of dust that really can irritate your lungs and be bad for you and all this metal you're grinding off you're inhaling it you know, that ain't good for your lungs. It gets in there and rusts. And, ah, usually if I do it without my respirator, I'm suffering for a while afterwards. So, a uh, word of the wise, if you have it, use it. If not, do a well-ventilated well area and go for it. So, let's have a look at what I use for holding my blades when I sharpen them. So, this guy here is a bicycle repair stand it does a couple different jobs for me this holds my trimmers when I work on them and also holds lawnmower blades just at the right level for me not to have to bend over on a bench or something and if you look this is pretty dinged up this guy so we're gonna take this edge back and put a brand new edge on it and it's gonna be like a brand new blade Uh, here we go. We got the flapper disc on there. And we're going to take this back a bit. I try to do it even on both sides. How much I take back of this dinged up edge, and we'll put a brand new edge on it. Off we go. There you go, it's one side done. So when you're getting pretty good at this, you can do it pretty quick. As you see, I've only been at this for a minute or two. I'll go take this and put this in the balance here in a minute. This looks pretty dinged up too, so do the same thing, rinse and repeat. All I'm doing is keeping that same profile, that same angle. You can kind of see where the angle is and kind of follow that and I usually do it with the angle of the rotation of the grinder the edge going of the, the disc going that direction going up instead of towards me I do it away from me so the spins this way that way I get a nice I throw shoot sparks that way and I don't shoot them towards me and it puts a nice edge on it real fast
If you notice, I just go and do a quick little drag across the bottom of the blade on each side because there's a little burr left over when you're sharpen. And that takes that little burr off. And you can, tur you can dress this with a file real fast. I sometimes do that with a diamond file. Sometimes if it's a little burr, I just rub that burr off. But if you see, it looks like a brand new blade. Now, I could have taken this back a little further because I really want to have a 90 degree edge here. But, I mean, as Terrell says, it's uh, not space shuttle, it's a lawnmower. So, you know, you're not losing much off that end if it's really angled here this way. Then you want to take this back a bit. So let's go into the, uh, the garage and show you a real simple balancer you can buy real cheap to balance these blades. Well, let's go have a look. Now, you can buy more expensive blade balancers, but for, you know, most homeowners, this is a great little tool. You know, they're a few bucks. I mean, I can order them from my suppliers. You can order them from Amazon. You can order them from your local mower shop. Sometimes they'll sell them to you. They'll order them in for you. I really like them. They're real simple. They work on most blades. Sometimes you got to get a little fidgety with them to get it so you center the blade on the cone. But if you look at that, that blade is pretty much perfectly balanced because I was able to eyeball it and I do it a lot. So, you know, I have a, I don't have the feel for it to get the, how much that I take off each side. And sometimes I'll even check the balance before I sharpen to see if it's light on one side before I start. And I can take a little more off that other side when I go. So there you go. Balanced everything. Well, there you go. It's that easy. Put a flapper disc in your grinder, a little wire brushing, maybe even not. You can get away without wire brushing. And sometimes for time, you can. But, you know, a little wire brushing, a little bit of time, a very small amount of time. I mean, if I was there for five minutes max. So save yourself some money. Sharpen your own blades. Don't buy new ones every time you need them sharpened. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Rock on.